Um, I'm Fabian Wichmann from Exit Germany. We are a small NGO based in Germany and doing, helping people to leave the right-wing scene. And we are funded in the year 2000. And since 2000, we do this job and do different campaigns in the field of right-wing extremism and xenophobia. Yeah, I see the fall of the wall in the year of eight, nine years. In that moment of the fall of the wall, it was a great experience because of this freedom, to get this freedom and to have the social change and um, this new perspective. So that was a very interesting and great moment for me personally and mostly also for the people who live in the former GDR. So the people in East Germany tries to make the best out of what they have. So if they had no, no stones to build a wall or they can't buy stones to build a wall, they speak to a neighbor to get some stones to build the wall. So it was more on communication with your neighborhood, communication with your surroundings to get things and to get things done. So, and out of this experience, um, they said we, we try to make um, out of shit something nice. Um, and that experience maybe lead me to do something out of something bad to do something good. Once upon a time, there was a little German town called Wunsiedel. Neo-Nazis have been demonstrating there and overrunning the town year after year. But in 2014, the small town was prepared. Um, yeah, the idea behind our campaigns is to, to take the bad stuff and to transform it into something good. Um, so to make the best out of bad things. Um, and that's the experience um, I had before in, in the GDR and later. We, we do something like a campaign in a small town in Bavaria, it's called Wunsiedel. And there's every year um, um, a funeral march of neo-Nazis because there was the grave of Rudolf Hess, the second hand of Adolf Hitler. He was buried there years ago. Um, and they came every year to march there and um, we thought about, okay, isn't it a nice idea to say, okay, we, we, we put the idea of a um, um, walkathon together with a donation, but to the same group. So the neo-Nazis will be the guys walking and who also um, involuntarily donate money against himself. So we, we said, okay, for each meter, you walk there in, in, in Wunsiedel, you will involuntarily donate 10 euros to exit Germany. So there's the decision for you. Maybe you walk through, there's more money for exit, or you stop right now and there's no money, but you can't walk any longer. So that was the, the, um, the idea. And um, yeah, they, they walk, they walk the whole distance. So the idea is to confront them with a paradox situation um, and to show them you are responsible. And you are also responsible for things you don't want because of you, you, you're doing something or you're saying something. Think about it. That's the idea. Um, and in, in, in Wunsiedel we also do some banners and um, we made a stand with bananas um, telling okay to, to walk the whole distance you need some power here have you some bananas to, to do this um, challenge. Um, we made a video out of it um, and spread this idea and at the end we, we see there are a lot of towns doing the same action. Uh, with us or without us, um, it is spread to different countries from Sweden to the US. So it was nice to see that people adapt the idea and do quite the similar. And our campaign started in the early years of uh, 2011. So the first idea we, we had together with an um, ad 
um, agency was to, to build a t-shirt. Um, to build a t-shirt as a gift for um, a neo-Nazi rock festival in Germany, in Thuringia, in the middle of Germany. So there was every year a concert, it was called um, Rock for Germany. It was organized from, from some hardcore neo-Nazis. And, and we said, okay, it would be a nice idea to give them a little gift um, for, their, um, for the first people who came to the festival. And we made this um, t-shirt um, with a skull and flags and it's um, hardcore rebels. And um, we write to the organizer of the festival and said, okay, um, I write them an email telling, okay, I'm, um, I'm also in the resistance movement uh, in Germany, and, um, but I can't go into public because of my family and all that stuff, but, but I want to, to, to share something with you, I want to empower you, I want to help you and your fight against the system. And he said, okay, great, what would you do? I said, I have some t-shirts, 200 t-shirts, I give it for free and um, you, you can give it away for the first 200 people. And he said, okay, yeah, we do so. And I said, okay, great. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and um, he's, don't get back to me. Um, and I get a little bit in fear because we had these 200 t-shirts. Um, and I thought, okay, I have to, to, to write an email to his boss. Um, and I write an email to his boss, say, okay, I spoke to, the, to, to this guy and he doesn't answer me and I had these t-shirts and I don't know how to do it now. Um, I don't know how to send it um, and in which address I have to send it. And he said, okay, I will, I will do it. Um, and he gave me an address and I sent these t-shirts out to this um, comradeship and say, okay, here, please. And um, yeah, and then there was the day of the festival and um, we uh, see there that they give it away um, and people going with the t-shirt home or sitting on the festival with a, with a dress with a t-shirt and they didn't know that there was a double print. So at, their, um, at the first washing this um, yeah, prior print was gone and there was a second print um, telling what your t-shirt can do, you can also do, we help you to leave the right-wing scene, call exit Germany. And at that moment they are really shocked because um, they didn't think about to have something like a Trojan t-shirt at home and um, they discussed it very sometimes very nice and sometimes very hard so they say we have to burn it like the books before um, or some also said oh, okay great idea why don't we do this um, at the end nobody will change because of a t-shirt so nobody will look at the t-shirt and say okay now i know i have to to leave i have to exit but the idea is with all our campaigns not to, to, to give an advice to do something. Um, it's more like know our label, know our project, know our offer. And if you sometimes think about to leave, if you have doubts about the right-wing scene and you, you think about to leave this um, right-wing scene, um, think about the project, think about the offer and call us. So maybe two years, three years, five years later, um, call us and that's the idea only to get attention to get uh, to, 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 to be visible for our target group um, and to make some provocant but also funny um, actions to, to get attention and also every time to communicate there is a possibility to leave the scene if you want so. Um, donate the hate is the it's the transformed way of Nazis against Nazis um, in their offline world. So we do it now in the online world. Um, people send us hate comments, mostly publicly hate comments on their postings of social media um, newspapers. Um, 
We get this uh, um, URL from this um, hate comment and we reply on it with a satirical, provocant, um, funny reply telling something you did it great comrade, um, maybe the Führer um, is proud on you or is not proud on you because you um, donate involuntary one euros for refugees and uh, um, exit Germany. And um, so he gets this reply and he's tagged in this reply so he will mention it. Um, and the, the money uh, in both campaigns, Donate the Hate also in, in Nazis Against Nazis, is uh, um, from people um, who, yeah, who, who, who give up the money to do this. So normal people um, donate for it or campaigns or um, yeah, mostly campaigns and uh, mostly uh, companies and, and people donate for it. And if we had this hate comment, we, we had this one euro and at the end we had, I think right now we had more than 70,000 euros. Um, we, we give one part to um, our partner, the um, Action Germany Helps it's called, and one part um, to, to exit. I think about I think a lot of the idea of um, going into public with my faith, with our campaigns, with our provocant campaigns, and I think there's a need to do this um, because of my daily work. I'm working in, in the field of um, exit counseling, so um, I think there's a need of transparency. People had to know me. People had to think about okay, I don't like this one, but I I, I, I see the person behind it. So I think it's important to, to do this in this field. And on the other hand, I think we always tell people um, do something, do something against what, uh, do something against it, um, show your face, be visible. Um, and we don't do so. We say, okay, I have to hide me because I'm in danger. Maybe some neo Nazis will attack me. Um, but maybe other can do and go into public and be um, and that's not the way I think we, we we can't empower people to say go into public and don't do the same so I think there's a need to to um, stand up for values um, stand up for ideas and that's also um, with a faith that's my idea maybe it doesn't fit for other people but it is my idea to say um, I will stand for these values and also with my um, faith I think the internet is, um, it isn't separated from reality. Reality is offline and online are well connected and maybe it's the same stage to, to handle um, xenophobia and, and all that stuff and hate. Um, there are ideas out of the right-wing scene to, to manipulate the society, to spread some fake news, to spread some narratives of um, fear and to fight against their um, values of a democratic society. And I think we have to, to handle it, we have to, to, to take their, um, the battle. Um, but I think we don't have to use these terms of battle, so we, we, we have to fight for our democracy and we have to do it with the values of a democratic society. Um, but we have to recognize that there's also a player down playing the, the same game. So we have to think about how to gamble the game um, without being or without doing it in the same way like the neo-Nazis. So we have to find ways in a, in a smart way, in a clever way, maybe in a um, way of Nazis against Nazis or hate, uh, donate the hate. So, but it is necessary to do this uh, and to do it right now. Um, because we, we see these values and ideas are old. Um, and years ago they, they discuss it maybe in a bar with five people. Uh, and two of these five people had said, okay, mm, I don't like your ideas. And the other three maybe say, yeah, great ideas. But now the situation changed. So we, we had an, a bigger bar and it's called Facebook, it's called Twitter, it's called social media. And if somebody telling the same narrative he told years ago in the bar, now maybe 500, 5,000 or more people listen um, to the same 
ideas and, and um, narratives. And these people or persons get empowered from not three persons, he gets empowered by 500 saying, so, yeah, you are right. You, you saying that what never said before, you, you say that um, other people don't um, uh, um, do. Um, and that's the big danger of social media. And um, we had to empower people in a democratic way to say, okay, I don't think so. I'm in opposition, I'm, 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 I see it in a different way to, to have this wide range of different opinions, different narratives and different ideas. Um, so if we don't do, we have this bad filter bubble um, and people think, okay, I'm doing the best and the right um, if I'm telling um, the right-wing narratives into the internet because um, people say it's good. So we need to be more that say, okay, now look at it.